What up guys and gals, this is your boy here, Mark Fit 40 guys. Because this morning I'm in here in the back of my trailer guys about to sweep it out. Um, ever so often I, I keep my I normally keep my trailer clean guys. Um, at least once a week, every two weeks. It all depends. Um, it, how much debris, uh, you know, a lot of times we have like uh, broken pieces of pallets and stuff like that, guys. Um, and a lot of these uh, receivers, you know, they don't clean the trash, period, you know what I'm saying? They they leave the empty pieces of boxes, uh, sometimes they leave broken pieces of pallets, guys. Um, I really can't stand this shit. Um, I know at times, you know, you're gonna have to clean your trailer. At some point in time, you know what I'm saying, but I really don't think that it should be our responsibility to come behind the, the uh, receivers and clean up their mess because technically, you know, the stuff that we deliver is their stuff. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times they, they leave like big old pieces of wood, um, big old pe uh, broken pallets and stuff like that, guys. Um, Big old pieces of boxes and stuff like that, and then we gotta come behind them and clean up, guys. But guys, this morning I'm here. I'm actually in Valdosta, uh, Valdosta, Georgia, guys. And um, I bought up a pickup a load, so you know I just came in the back, inspect my trailer real quick um, to make sure that it's clean because I don't want to go to the the receiver and. You know, go to, go to check in, and then they look in the back of the trailer, and the trailer is dirty. And then I have to waste an extra 30 minutes because I have to go at the side and sweep the trailer, then go back and check in, guys. So I'm just trying to be ahead of the game, guys, and you should do the same thing. You know, um, a clean trailer is it's good to have a clean trip, guys. Because, you know, a lot of the stuff we go, um, uh, it's food, this is a food grade trailer, guys. You know, if you have a food grade trailer, um, a lot of, a lot of uh, shippers and stuff like that are very particular on how clean your trailer is, guys. Some of them was like really fussy. You know what I'm saying? I know for a fact, um, Georgia Pacific guys, you know guys ever pull loads out of Georgia Pacific? Uh, Georgia Pacific, they be very detailed on um, the cleansiness of the trail. Guys. Because they had like, they had like a paper, um, paper towel tissues, and, Tissue paper and different things like that. And um, they really don't want no cross, cross contamination. So, you know, a lot of the times they want your trailer to be spotless. Unless if you're picking up like a Pepsi load or maybe like a Coca Cola. Something like that. Those shippers tends to be more lenient, guys. So, guys, this is the D right here, but um, I have to go pick up my trailer tomorrow. This trailer right here, guys, is a rented trailer. And um, I will turn this trailer back in. Once my trailer is good, everything is good. I was gonna um, pay to get the holes on the roof fixed, guys. But um, I did a, um, I, 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 think the, I think about it and um, I felt like 
didn't want to spend that money, that extra money to actually get the roof. It has like a few holes on the roof, guys. Not big holes, but little holes. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go to the um, to like Lowe's or Lowe's or Home Depot, or something like that. And I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy the stuff to do the work myself, guys. Once again, I always believe in if I, if you could save money and do anything yourself when it comes to to this business, guys. I think you should. Don't be just giving away money like that because because you make it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta save, save, put aside money and save the money for stuff that's really, really, really important, guys. You know what I'm saying? Stuff that you really have to get done. And when you have to get uh, important work done, you have the money. See how much now look at how much trash I swept from the back of my trailer, guys. That's a lot. Guys, this is all you want to keep the trailer, especially a full gray trailer, guys. You want to keep it clean. This is how I like to keep my trailer. That's why I get pretty upset when um, re uh, receivers leave all their broken pieces of pallets and um, big old pieces of cardboard boxes and stuff like that. And it's so easy for them to just pick it up, you know what I'm saying? But it just for some reason, guys, you know, they just think that our trailers and stuff is is a um, is a dump, you know. But guys and gals, guys, check out my check out my gears this morning, guys. Got me a nice little pair of shoes. I don't know if you guys could see it. Got me a nice little pair of shoes, guys. I'm kind of breaking them in this morning. See them shoes? So guys, this is your boy here, Rockfit40 guys, just got to do my pre-trip, 